Welcome back to Deadly Kindies. Thank you for joining us for our Deadly Little Moment. I'm Kim, a part of the Deadly Kindies team. And I'm Kendi, I'm also part of the Deadly Kindies team and I work at Birthing in Our Community as well. So shout out to everyone from Deadly Kindies and Bio watching. We're going to be having a yarn about rain. That's right. And how rain forms and what that looks like. We've come together, we drew a pretty deadly picture, I think. Yeah, <laughs> look at us go. So we can show everybody here. This is our little explanation about how rain works. So um, should we have a quick yarn about yeah, it before our it. little experiment that we've got? So here uh, you can see we've got the ocean, the water, um, we've got a rainforest as well. We were just yarning saying um, we live up in Queensland. So, um, it, you know, it can get quite hot and humid up here, hey sis? Yeah, and we are saying how when we feel the humidity, we get like, we feel like moisture. Yeah. You know, that sweatiness. Yeah, you get and, a bit you know, sweaty. It's all over your skin and you might get your hair's a bit crazy. Mine goes a bit crazy. Yeah, same. And we're saying, you know, where does that moisture come from? How does that come about? And particularly when it's it, hot areas like where we are, you know, that's from the sun. So the sun beams down um, and there's always water vapour in the air. But when, you know, when the sun is on the ocean and on the water, different parts of the water, the water starts to evaporate. So it comes up into the air. Um, and that's why we feel a little bit out of our skin. We feel a bit sweaty um, and it heads up. And where does it head up to, sis? So if you've got your arrows here, it starts heading up to the clouds. That's right. And that's why you might see the clouds get really big mm -hmm. and then get like all different shapes and they go dark. That's right. And that's that, all of the water yeah. stored up there, isn't it? Yep. So we've got this cloud here. So I've got a little bit of water vapor. So a bit of the water has evaporated and is, is sitting up there in the cloud. But what happens is when so much goes up to those clouds, it gets real heavy. Like you said, those dark clouds, yeah. hey, we and can't, when, what happens with gravity, yeah. it just starts falling down and that's how the rain happens. So when something gets too heavy, even you'd know yourself, when you're carrying something that's so heavy, it just wants to go downwards. That's and right. that's exactly what happens with the clouds. The clouds get so heavy and filled with all this water that's come up from the humidity in the, from the sun and from the ocean that it just needs to fall down. And we had a quick yarn about rainforests too, hey? So um, obviously rainforests are in hotter parts of, of our countries and our, our land as well. So. Um, that's why you'll find that there's a lot of moisture in there coming from, from those beautiful trees and, and that hot weather as well. And that's why those rainforests are so green and beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, lots of rain. <laughs> so nice. Alrighty, so should we get on to our science experiment? Let's do it. Yarning about rain. So now we're going to show you how you, you could do this at home um, with items that you probably have. At, um, or if you don't, they're really cheap as well. Hey, sis. Yeah, well, I collected these like this is uh, one from our dinner. So I just washed out the jar. Yep. And I think this one was a gift. So we've just, you know, we always talk about caring for country we and do. recycling and reusing things. Yeah. So it's exactly what we've done here. All right. So what do we need to do? All right. So we've got some shaving foam. Easy. Give we've it a got, good shake. Hey, we've got our glass jars yep. and our water. We filled it up with a bit of water. And we're so. just going to put this is going to act as a cloud. So we're just going to put this on top of our, do you actually, do you think mm -hmm. this will float or sink? Oh, well, I think it's a bit airy, a bit light. So it might sit on top, but also let's try let's and find see. Out. All right. Oh, <laughs> oh, this is fun. <laughs> I didn't shake it enough. Yeah, look out. Oh, oh wow. it's expanding. They do look like clouds, sis. And as we said, the clouds, they come in all different sizes. That's right. We might do that on another uh, Deadly Little Moment, talk about different clouds, hey? All right. And here we've got blue. It's going to act as our rain. That's right. So we are going to show you one of these clouds. Let's the one that's some. filled with all of the drops. I don't know if it's going to sink through. <laughs> it's the best thing about science, hey? Oh, here we go. Oh, Can wow. you see it? Oh, sis. It's raining. So all Starting of that to... moisture on top has collected. Yep. It's too heavy. And now, now it's falling the to the bottom. Falling. I'm going to do mine too. I'm so excited. Drip, drip, drip. Can you see the different shapes that are coming under the water too? It's like a, like a lava cloud. Yeah. Like, you know those lava lamps you yeah. get? But you know what? That 
looks to me like you know when you see it's raining far away yeah, yeah you can see in this the sunshine shows you that ra- the movements of the rain hey and it's interesting so usually when you put um food coloring into water it changes immediately yeah but here it's changing very slowly and it's just trickling down and the bottom's blue yeah but the top still isn't blue oh here we oh, go you get a bigger one oh that's heavy rain happening there and you could do your own experiments as well. Like, you know, you could um, put a little skewer in there, yeah. maybe make a hole and see if, you, you could know, do different colours. Yeah. See what colours mix together. That's right. The opportunities are really endless with science. And that's yeah. what we love about sharing um, science activities with you, Mob, too. It's Science Week. It is. So why not do some experiments? Thank you so much for joining us, everyone. And if you do this activity at home, send us a video or a photo. We love to see what you get up to or something else during Science Week as well. Yeah, we like ideas, hey? Yeah, that's right. Anything we can do here. Yeah, true. We'll see you next time. Catches. Bye.